Next, Adam in Goals by George Lindley. Adam loved sports. He was always full of energy and doing something. On summer evenings, he went to the sports field and played with his friends. Most evenings, he and his friends played soccer. Although Adam loved sports, he wasn't very healthy. His friends complained that he was too slow, so they often put him in goals. You sure won't have to run too fast there, his friend Daryl said, laughing. Just stand in one position. Adam didn't mind being in goals. In fact, his dream was to become a great goalie. He would become the best goalie the town had ever seen. The problem was that Adam wasn't very good in goals. No matter how fast he hurried after the ball, he could never catch it on time. He tried his best, but it was never good enough. You're the worst goalie ever, his friend Tom shouted. You should just sit on the curb. You can't do any harm there. Most of Adam's friends agreed. One day, Adam had an idea. I will ask Dad to train me, he thought. There's nothing he can't do. The school break was coming up soon. Adam believed that if he trained for a few weeks, he could become a better goalie. It was the perfect time to train. He was certain that his father would help him. Adam asked his father to help him practice. I'm afraid I can't, Dad said. You won't be here. What do you mean? Adam asked. Where will I be? Your grandfather wants you to visit him for a few weeks. He hasn't seen you in a long time. Adam loved his grandfather. He loved his grandfather's farm, but he still felt disappointed. Soon Adam was on his way to his grandfather's farm. As Adam sat on the bus, he felt sad. He would never be a great goalie. Instead of training, he had to spend the next few weeks on the farm with his grandfather. I want to stay home with Dad and become a better goalie. He thought. But when he got off the bus, Adam did not feel so sad. His grandfather was waiting to meet him with a big grin on his face. Adam ran to his grandfather. He threw his arms around him. It's so good to see you, Adam, his grandfather said. I've missed you. It's great to see you too. Adam replied. He thought about all the fun he would have on the farm. Being a goalie didn't seem so important anymore. Every day on the farm was an adventure. Adam's grandfather raised cattle, sheep, and chickens. He also grew corn and wheat to make extra money. Grandfather loved farming. Even if he often roared at his animals, When they refused to do what he wanted, he loved showing Adam around the farm. He pointed out the crops in the different fields. The next day, Adam went for a walk around the farm buildings. Some of the buildings were in bad shape, but they were all safe, and Adam was not afraid to explore them. One old shed was very untidy. Scraps of machinery lay on the ground. The shelves were full of empty, rusty boxes. Adam noticed the sun was shining on an old tin box in the corner of the room. Adam's father collected soccer cards. He stored them in a box in his bedroom. I wonder if there are any soccer cards in this box, Adam thought. Maybe grandfather also collects soccer cards. Adam took the box down from the shelf and opened it. Inside 
were three shiny silver medals with clean blue ribbons on them. Adam looked at the medals. He held them up to the light. Adam took the box into the farmhouse to show his grandfather. He put the medals on the table. I didn't know that you were a soldier, grandfather, he said. His grandfather started laughing. What's so funny? Adam asked, slightly annoyed. He didn't like it when people laughed at him. His friends laughed at him all the time. Those are sports medals, his grandfather explained. I played for the town soccer team when I was younger, but that was a long time ago. What position did you play? Adam asked, his heart racing. I was the goalie, of course. I was the best goalie in the town. Life on the farm became a new adventure for Adam. Every evening, he and his grandfather played soccer in the near field. They used an old shed as the goal, taking turns as goalie. No matter how many times Adam tried to kick the ball into the shed, his grandfather was able to stop the ball. How did you become such a good goalie? Adam asked on his final day on the farm. It's simple, his grandfather replied. I never gave up. I had to practice every day until I was the best goalie in the town. Soon the summer break was over and it was time to go back to school. Soon it was time for Adam to go into goal again. Soon it was time for the boys to laugh at him again. But this time, the boys didn't laugh. They cheered. When did you become a great goalie? His friend Daryl asked after the game. When I learned to never give up, Adam replied. Then he walked over to his grandfather, who was waiting for him. Adam noticed that his grandfather was wearing one of the medals.